Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Caroline. If you've never been here before, I'm really glad that you're joining us today. So I'm going to go through a list of 2020 essential accessories. I think this is a great topic to hit on because accessories to me are just the cherry on top of the outfit. You can have such a plain and basic outfit by, by adding different accessories, you're really dressing it up, or it kind of plays to your personality. You can really mix and match too, so you can get more out of the basic pieces you have in your wardrobe. I personally really love basic pieces, like right now I wear a lot of neutral tones of black, white, and kind of soft beige colors, and I dress them up using accessories. So let's just jump right in. The first accessory is a chain that you can add to your belt or you can even clip it onto a handbag or another item. They're popular during the 80s. Chain necklaces are also very popular right now. They were also popular during the 80s and 90s. There's chunky ones in silver and gold and of course the lock on the necklace is really popular. What's really cool about chain necklaces is if you have different lengths, you can layer them and it kind of adds a lot to an outfit. You could also layer the chain that you wear on your belt or even purse and that'll add a lot to the outfit too. I personally only like to wear one at a time uh, just because the multiple chains bother me. <laughs> The next accessory is a bucket hat. I loved wearing these during the late 90s and 2000s as a kid. Um, they were very popular during the 80s and 90s also. The reversible one that I'm wearing right now, that's the print. I thrifted in Tokyo and it is my favorite, but I also have basic black to add to an outfit if I have a like outfit with more going on than the one I'm currently wearing. The next is a crossbody bag. They're convenient bags that you can be worn without using your hands. They were originally called utility bags used by soldiers, fishermen, and lumberjacks to store their tools. These are cool. You can add, you know, keychains on them. I love the ones with different anime I like. And they store so much in them. I am really about function on top of fashion. So anything that's more convenient to me and can store more as I go, I prefer. The one I currently wear is a harness one, so it's adjustable to the body, but because of that I need to tuck the straps in the back because there's a lot of extra fabric that sticks out from the fastener. So I just slip that back there in the buckle on both sides and it's no longer a problem. So they're just super convenient. And I have a little one in the corner that has a chain on it too. The next accessory is a hair scarf. These were popular beginning the 20s through 30s to 70s. Right now I'm wearing them how they wore them in the 50s across the neck. They're really popular colors and patterns during the 50s like the one I'm wearing now. Uh, I only have one currently, but I like to wear it several different ways and get a lot of use out of it. So on top of wearing it on my neck, I wear it on my bag. This is just a fun way to wear it on something that I carry around to help a basic outfit kind of pop more as you see everything's neutral with the jeans and the black, that orange makes it pop. I also like to wear it in my hair. I have a lot of hair, so I often wear it up or half up, half down, tied back. So this is just a way to accessorize my hair more and I don't think a lot of people do this too often, like I see some do, but I always get a really good reaction from wearing this in my hair. and. I feel like it's just so fun and cute to have that extra little thing up there. So for my next accessory, I think this one's pretty gender neutral, is the utility vest. It came back in popularity in 2019. I was trying to find when it first, you know, was created and I saw different things, but I just mostly saw early 20th century. Um, farmers use it when they're working outside to help Per, like block the sun, carry things they had and stay cool. I like this because it has so many pockets again, never say no to pockets. I also can add a keychain. I've added an old Skechers keychain I have as a kid, the little UFO one. <laughs> uh, it's just like super functional, which is kind of a theme for things I enjoy. And I think layers always just make an outfit, just like it brings it up to that level. And the most essential item on my list, and the last one but not least, is a mask. They come in so many different patterns, they're really cool, so definitely add a mask to your outfit. 
All right, everyone, so those are the accessories I wanted to share with you guys. I hope you were able to find a few that you really want to try out, or maybe some that you have in the back of your closet already that you want to pull on out. I think they're very versatile, great for layering, and I think accessories are the perfect way to make an outfit your own. I'm really excited to share more uh, tips and things about my style with you guys, so I hope you join me for the next video. Check out more of my art at my Instagram handle KidMoth, or check out my daily life at Curlin808, and I currently have a webtoons up called Des Apprentice, and my creator name is KidMoth. Bye guys!